Hey, what's happening, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Yeah, and I do hope you are all doing well today, man. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Chelsea News, the series where I look across football media, look at Chelsea News, consolidate it into a package, present it to you. We try and sift through the nonsense. I present my opinion, ask for your opinion, and we move. And today I'm going to be talking about free football players. One's kind of interesting, Ryan Fraser, 26-year-old winger from the Premier League, plays for Bournemouth, Scottish international in his prime. A very good footballer, available on a free this summer. Frank Lampard wanted him in January, was denied by the club, but could they be convinced for Ryan Fraser to be this rotational winger this summer on a free? He's got incredible numbers when in form. So I want to talk about that a little bit. Marina Granovskaya is trying to do a madness yet again. We're trying to get 31 million pounds for Tamui Bakayoko. The same Bakayoko we bought for 35 million pounds. And he's had a pretty difficult and often dismal story. Could it be West Ham to buy Bakayoko? That's such a West Ham signing. Part of me just wants him to do well and have a really good career in London. Maybe not our rival, but still, I want to talk about that. And finally, I do want to talk about Ben Chilwell again, because apparently, reportedly, he's told Leicester coach Brendan Rodgers that he wants the move. He wants the transfer to Chelsea Football Club. Frank Lampard's priority left-back target, and if we look back a little bit, Ashley Cole would love to see him at Chelsea too. He is the best left-back the Premier League has ever seen. You'd imagine he knows a little bit about left-backs. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't want Chilwell, so I just want to talk about it a little bit. Anyway, if you're not subscribed to Football Therapy yet, you're coming back to watch the videos daily, please do me a favour, mate, and just subscribe. It takes one second, and if you do, please hit that all-important bell notifications icon and please do drop a like on this video to do me a favor all right let's get on with it you know what let's start with Tamui Bakayoko oh, oh, oh Tamui Bakayoko oh, oh, oh together with N'Golo oh, oh, oh they never give the ball away yeah sorry anyway Bakayoko bought in 2017 from Monaco for 35 million pounds a highly highly courted target loads of people wanted back yoko chelsea got him he arrived injured played his first game in the london derby against tottenham i believe away in wembley had an excellent performance he got a song the very song i just sung a minute ago that probably upset a lot of you and it looked like we had a wonderful signing still things didn't work out he had some horrendous performances he's got red carded he got pulled off at half time he went to milan and it just never happened to Chelsea. Chelsea are trying to flog him again. They've probably thought they could sell him to, Italy, to Milan and Italy didn't happen. Now the likes of West Ham could be interested in the French midfielder. Chelsea director Marina Granovskaya reckons she can generate 31 million pounds for the midfielder, which would be a madness considering it costs 35. And for me, really, his value should have decreased, not just because of a difficult time in his footballing career, but also because of his contract burning right down. But if Chelsea managed to generate £31 million in this difficult and turbulent financial climate, I would be very happy as a Chelsea fan. And could he go to West Ham? For me, that is such a West Ham signing, isn't it? If you look at the kind of profile of players they've been buying, loads of nearly men for the last few years, it would probably suit their purchasing ethos, but I don't know, like, I, 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 I want the player to do well, you know, I'm not a spiteful dude, I want him to have a good career, uh, he, he's built very well, we could have seen him do good technical moments and be a sort of destroyer on the pitch, so, you know, all the best to Bakayoko, but hopefully Chelsea can make a few peas on him, I will keep you updated on this story. Right, before we talk about Chili B... <laughs> I promise that's the last time I called Ben Chilwell that. Let's talk about Ryan Fraser. Like I said at the top of the video, 26-year-old Scottish international in his prime showed he's got no problem playing in the Premier League. This season, he has been awful. Now, <laughs> I think that's because he won it out of Bournemouth. He's on his last year of his contract. He wouldn't re-sign even though he's an excellent performer for Bournemouth. He had to stay. He's even come out in interviews and pretty much said, like, you know, I've basically let the club down, I've not been playing well, which is good, he's still a relatively young guy, so hopefully he's matured past that poor form stage when not happy. Anyway, he's available on a free this summer. 
Frank Lampard gave Chelsea Football Club the all clear, the green light to purchase him in January, which obviously still would have commanded a transfer fee, but Chelsea, the club, were like, no, no, we don't really want to pay for him. But I'm speculating now and I'm posing the question to you guys, now he isn't a free transfer, could Ryan Fraser be this fourth choice rotational winger? Chelsea are often looking for the Saeed Ben Ramas, you know, the Jeremy Bogers, the who else, Samuel Chiquese, there's a lot. Fraser would probably be happy to sit on the bench at Chelsea and rotate in and out for a good paycheck, maybe, but maybe. Plus he'd probably back himself to play his way into the team. So there's that. So you're probably saying, Jan, what's, you know, Ryan Fraser, is he that good? Yes, dude, he's Premier League proven and last season in the Premier League, remember playing for Bournemouth, little old Bournemouth, he scored seven Premier League goals and <laughs> eight registered 14 assists in the Premier League. 21 Premier League goal involvements, madness. Second in the league for assists last season, only to Eden Hazard, who had an absolutely explosive season for Chelsea Football Club. Ron Fraser, mate, 26 years old, out here getting 14 assists in the Premier League season. Could he be a superb option for Chelsea? Maybe. Does he want to go to a club, say maybe a top eight club where he can start? Maybe. But I want to pose the question to you guys, what do you think? Would you think this should be someone that Chelsea Football Club are seriously looking for? Looking at, rather, in the summer for a free transfer? Just asking the question, dude. Ben Chilwell, let's talk about it, man. News reports won't go away linking the player to Chelsea Football Club. And new updated stories are saying that the player himself has said to Brendan Rodgers that he would like the move to Chelsea Football Club. Now, I can't corroborate this massively. All I can say is I've read it in the headlines like you would going through the news. If true, that is a big statement because Leicester are above Chelsea in the league. They've got an excellent team. They've got a good manager, a much more experienced manager than Frank Lampard. They're going to play Champions League football next season, if you ask me. So they're in a superb position for him to jump to Chelsea, would really say he wants to play for the club. Huge positive off the bat. Now, before I talk about my opinion on the player and a lot of people's opinions, Let's talk a little bit more about the potential transfer. We know he's Frank Lampard's number one target. He likes how he plays, he wants him to be part of his system. He can see him part of the project, part of the long-term vision. This has been reported on loads of reputable platforms. Uh, you know, Liam Twomey, Simon Johnson, all these journalists are writing about it. Also, we know Ashley Cole would really like to bring Ben Chilwell to Chelsea. And Ashley Cole is the best left back in Premier League history. So he knows a thing or two about a good left back and maybe he feels like he can sure him up defensively. Dude, it is... Ah. You gotta trust the likes of Ashley Cole and Frank Lampard in terms of footballing minds and you know, the long term vision. Look man, I'm like you guys. If you watch Football Therapy for the last few months, I was really far away from the thought of Ben Chilwell even though he's been excellent at the beginning of the season and say last season and you know he starts for his national team at left back he's very highly rated he was in awful form dude but as an element of trusting the gaffer here of course Tagliafico, Telej are both performing well granted in different leagues you don't know how they'll do being dropped in but they are older, perhaps they're not part of the long-term project as much as Ben Chilwell would be, and you have to consider it. Alex Goldberg on Twitter dropped a really good video, I suggest you go check it out, where he speaks of the youth of Chilwell, the Premier League experience of Chilwell, and how those two things are really, really important, and Alex himself likes the idea of Tellez and Tagliafico, but like me, like I've said in this video, he also thinks it's really important that the likes of Ashley Cole and Frank Lampard would love Ben Chilwell at Chelsea. So look, I'm not on the Chilwell train fully. If Chelsea secure Tagliafico or Tellez, I'm super, super happy with that. Hopefully they flog both Alonso and Emerson. I've got nothing against the players, but I really do believe in Ian Matson as a backup left back for Chelsea. I think he could be excellent. Freshen up just what Chelsea are doing at the moment. Nothing personal against any players and then bring in a starting new left back. That's what I want, but what do you want, guys? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below, because that's why we're here. I'm trying to gauge the collective opinion of the Chelsea fans, so express yourself in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of Ben Chilwell. What's your max price for him, maybe, for Chelsea to buy him? Because the touted 85 million is, of course, 
way too much. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Also talk about Ryan Fraser. I'm really keen to get your thoughts and opinions on that back Yoko as well. Why not, man? If you've enjoyed this content I've provided for you guys today, I'd appreciate you liking the video, man. Please do subscribe to Football Therapy if you're new and you want to. And you're welcome to follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that's starting soon. And I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.